Yo, what's going on everyone? Markstrom here, and today I present to you guys my latest hardcore challenge on Escape from Tarkov. As many of you guys know, there's a certain point in every wipe cycle where I tend to feel a need to switch things up and introduce a new perspective into my day-to-day -day Tarkov gameplay. I've hit this point in 11.7, and damn, the first day was incredibly refreshing. I start off by creating a fresh account and deleting everything in my inventory, including my own melee weapon. This makes getting started absolutely brutal, but incredibly fun. Note that I'm doing this run on an EOD account for the sake of the stash space. With the rule set I'm about to lay out for you, you'll understand why I need to hang on to every item that I possibly can loot. The rule set itself is pretty basic, but very restrictive. One, I can't purchase items from traders. I can only barter. This gives the typically less significant items insanely good value, which is a really fun variation. Two, rubles can be used to repair armor, euros can be used to buy containers, and dollars can be used to complete tasks like Friend from the West Part 2. All of these can be collected via in-raid looting only. Three, I can sell gear to traders to level their transaction requirements, but I have to delete the cash out of my inventory immediately. I'm also careful not to mix this cash with my in-raid looted cash. Four, I cannot utilize insurance, the flea market, nor scav runs. These restrictions are massive and they provide a great challenge trying to keep my personal economy afloat without these mechanics. Five, I can only place a wallet, keys, docs bag, key bar, tags, and a dog tag case inside of my container. Nothing else can be placed here, so without the luxury of instantly being able to store task items and high value loot, raids become so much more intense. Immediately you'll notice how this rule set completely changes the pace of the game for me and makes every ounce of min-maxing worthwhile and also rewarding. In raid number one, I found a melee weapon on a dead scav at the power station on shoreline, but I couldn't find any gun there. Then I got legged by a scav at the gas station from very far away. Without PKs, I still managed to get to the tunnel extract. In the final green container there, I managed to find an AK-74M, and in the final police trunk, I found 30 PRS rounds of 545 and extracted successfully. I went ahead and I traded the two matches that I found in the raid for painkillers uh, to go along with the AI-2s that I also looted. With all of these items, I decided to risk everything and go for a gear raid on interchange next. Let's check it out. Maybe we look for a scav to kill out here. They do spawn here quite a bit. I just need like one face tap, man. Just give me one face tap, dudes. I'd be so happy. And there's some juice in these tents. I feel like there's a crate in one of these tents. Maybe not. energy drink oh here we go nice gun ammo that dtk should go right on right okay. here's somebody Nice little upgrade. 15, huh? I've never been much of a looter, man. So, a lot of this is like uh, newer info. I really play to shoot. Play to shoot, play to kill, play to PvP. It's usually what I have the most fun doing, but I do love a good hardcore run. So, there's a lot of like crate locations and stuff like that that I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Backseat me to greatness, lads, you know? Bro, if I could find a PSO, I'd be so, so hyped. It'd be amazing. I'm glad they fixed that bug on uh, on Interchange. No, I'm not sure. It could have been above that I was hearing it, but... I know those gunshots were above, but I, I heard a footstep before the gunshots started. And I don't know if that was above or in here. Holy shit, dude. That's wild, man. If he bowled a 299, I think the only way that's possible is to get all strikes and a spare on the last ball. 
which means that he didn't clutch up, which had to have been probably the worst feeling in the world. I think that's the only way to get a 299, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Some of you guys might be more bowling knowledgeable than I am, but I think that's it. Yeah, that feels bad, dude. Ooh, that's PP. Yo, okay. Unload this garbage. Hold up, boys. We got to hide for a minute. Now I can take that bullet out. So cool. Love that shit, man. Houston, we officially have scabs in here. You guys like that animation? It's sick, right? Yeah, it's shifty. Player. He's in a Mosin. I might just rush him. <laughs> nope. Different guy. Shit. So I don't know.
We're on a bit of a timer now. We have a break. We have no splint. We have some AI2s. I got a couple of bodies to loot. I just need to be sure that I don't get... Spawned in on. Three bodies to loot, I believe. Positive, though. It's really hard to say. An amazing pickup. Plus M61s. Dog tags can go in. Hello? Um, probably not super important to have right now. These are M61s in here, and it's full. Wow. That's amazing. All right, we, have, we officially have one shot potential. We officially have one shot potential, and that's a really good feeling. I will loot the power station, though. You never know. <laughs> Helmet just saved me, I think. He hit me in the leg. Hmm. It almost felt like a concussion. <laughs> kind of wild. That's bad. There's two now. What? Okay. He's down. Let's reload. Last PK. Not ideal. Where is this guy? Want to get the kill before I loot? Hopefully one of these guys has PKs or some shit. We know this is a scab, so I'm specifically going to use my less solid ammo on it on the fight. It's on my left here. Where? Oh, he sees me through that window. Wild. That's nice to have. Also nice to have. <clears throat> Let's go back through here. Loot what's good inside of here. Most empty. Switch back over to this. We also have the TT. I should check how much ammunition is inside of the TT. I think it's going to be full, but let's just be sure. Player? <laughs> Fuck. A player scav literally spawned in over here in the corner and just one pumped me. Ah, that's the way she goes, boys. Yo, what a wild run, man. GG's. Ah, brutal. So unlucky, man. So unlucky. Oof. Oof. GG, man. Oh, I was checking a mag, too. Like, I couldn't even turn and shoot if I wanted. That's so frustrating. Damn, GG's. GG's. That was a good run. That was a good run. Yep. So here we are. Man, we dropped a level 40 like it was nothing, though. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Yo. I love it. 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 That's good stuff, man. Yo, even getting clapped there. Full serious, I enjoyed that single raid more than any of the raids that I did on 11.7 without the restrictions. Hopefully you guys enjoy the hardcore challenge hype and consider giving it a try for yourselves. I've posted my rule set in the comments and pinned it to the top. Let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comments section below. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. If you guys want to be notified when my videos go live, click the bell next to the subscription button and join the notification squad. Also, be sure to tune in the live stream every day of the week, starting at 7 a.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash Markstrom. Thanks for watching, guys.